Hello, this is Igor Chigrin. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, we talk all about export and import business. And in today's video, we will discuss the impact of coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic on international trade. Let's begin. As we all see, the world is currently in a quarantine. That means people are out of work, they're sitting at home, they don't go into the stores, they don't spend their money, and in many cases, they lost their income. So guess what happened? The demand dropped significantly. The other problem is that in many countries impacted by COVID-19, the manufacturing plants are also closed or quarantined, which means that not only the demand dropped, but also the production, the supply dropped as well. Then how about the trade routes? The trade routes are currently either closed or have very limited uh, turnaround. For example, many countries block their airspace for uh, not only passenger but also commercial or cargo airplanes. The uh, airline pilots and uh, ocean vessels crews are not immune to coronavirus. So there were many cases when the ships were quarantined um, or uh, the uh, port workers uh, were out of work. So uh, the number of containers uh, in the ports exceeded capacity. There are many congested ports and airports around the world. Uh, that doesn't include uh, the postal uh, workers that are currently overloaded with the number of parcels that they have to uh, sort out and deliver on time to the regular people like you and I. Because guess what? E-commerce boomed and uh, now that the stores are unavailable, uh, we order more and more online. But somebody has to deliver those products and the postal systems were not prepared for the surge of demand in the middle of the year. Some countries also impose restrictions on export and import certain goods such as agri-food uh, or medical supplies. Uh, it's quite understandable. They want to make sure that there is enough food and enough uh, protective equipment available for the frontline workers in those countries. Now let's look at the state of international marketing these days. It was very common in international trade to travel between countries, meet new people, establish relationships, uh, participate in the trade shows and trade missions. Uh, but now with the travel restrictions around the world and the cancellations of major conferences and trade shows, uh, we will have to switch to the uh, electronic means of establishing a relationship. In international trade, it's not something that people are used to. Um, again, there used to be very common face-to-face -face communication. Now we uh, all have to go online and use video conference and video chat instead. Um, it could slow down your business development quite significantly. And what happens if you don't trade in goods, but you trade in services? You're also impacted. You can no longer send your employees to support uh, your client in the other country. Uh, you can't uh, travel for sales meeting. Um, also, if your client needs support uh, in the foreign market, maybe now it's a good time for you to actually find a local uh, company or a local person that can support uh, your client uh, as long as you cannot fly uh, to the other country. Now, what do you do in this situation? Uh, what's your action item? And I'm getting this question a lot from my clients. And the answer is very surprising. And it maybe it's counterintuitive in this situation, but it's the most, um, uh, but it's the best answer in this environment. You don't have to completely shut down your international marketing and business development. You actually have to use this time to invest more in international development and diversify your markets, export markets and your supply chain. Because what coronavirus showed us is uh, when your business depends on either a uh, few suppliers in one particular country or if you only export in one market, uh, you're very vulnerable and uh, in this condition your business may be literally shut down uh, because of all these restrictions and all these dependencies. So uh, when the shock is over and as soon as the shock is over, uh, sit down and uh, write down the list of potential other potential suppliers or potential clients for your international trading business. Uh, start thinking about new countries, uh, new ideas uh, and overall Diversify, diversify your supply chain, diversify your export markets. 
uh, if you are looking for help how to either start uh, your international trading business or to grow it, uh, diversify it in, within, in, within new export and import markets, uh, you can check out our electronic training program. Uh, it's called Six Figure Export and Import Business in 12 Months. I will leave a link in the description and you can check it out on your own. Please comment how coronavirus impacted your trading business. Like this video and subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss new videos about export and import business. That was Igor Chigrin. Thanks for watching. See you next time.